So I finally got out, uh, so let's take a look on how to create this effect in Adobe After Effects. I will be using a plugin called Fayan to do the tracking. You do have other options to track your scene, but I just prefer to work with Fayan because it's so easy in use for this particular shot. If you want to use the same exact footage as I did, you can download that with the link in the description so you can follow along with the tutorial. So without further ado, let's fire up Adobe After Effects and get started. All right, here we are in Adobe After Effects and I started with my footage right here. If you want to follow along with the same exact footage, you can download this with the link in the description. Uh, so I have my backplate here, which is just me filming this frame here. And then I have my act where I'm actually, yeah, doing whatever I wanted to do in this frame. So um, basically that's it. Also got this asset right here, uh, which is just some kind of grunge on the edges, uh, which we will be using to integrate our picture better into the scene. So we can uh, add some dirt to it and stuff like that. So you can find these kind of pictures on Google by just uh, Googling grunge frame texture or dirty frame texture, whatever, painting texture. Uh, just go ahead and Google some kind of grunge textures. It doesn't need to be like this. Uh, you can go as wild as you want to uh, yourself. So I'm going to start off here and I'm actually going to drag my backplate here. So um, this file, I'm going to drag it into a new composition. And then I will right click composition settings. And the first thing that I will do is actually reset my time code here because um, I want to have a clean time code right here. You don't see zero, you see. Um, yeah, 17. So I will just um, set this to zero and then I will also rename this composition to main comp. And uh, apart from that, everything is OK. And we'll click OK. And now we have this video file in our composition. Um, now we're going to use a plugin called Fayan to do the tracking. You can use other tracking techniques. So if you don't have that, you'll have to go and look these ones up on how to track a scene like this. I just prefer to work with Fayan, especially for these types of tracking. Uh, it's a really powerful tool and I enjoy using it. So what I'll do is go to effects Fayan right here, Faytech Fayan, and then now we have our main comp right here. So basically how it works, it pops up a window with our footage. So this is the composition that we want to do our tracking in. Uh, we can right click and add a track to it. And now we're going to have a track option right here. So uh, we'll put this on the side and we're going to use this method here. So we'll click here and then we can actually click over, uh, over here like so. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit to actually um, get these dots in the right position. So really try to narrow these down to the corners and try to be as exact as possible. And right here it's pretty clear, but like right here it's pretty hard to see where it actually ends. I guess it's like around here. And then uh, for this dot, it should also be somewhere around that position. So right here, I'll keep it as it is right now. And there we go. What we want to do now is actually um, give the area type so um, the object isn't moving so we can take the static area and then for the advanced options tracking quality automatic is usually good enough and probably for this scene uh, it's going to be good enough so we'll keep it as it is. The camera motion is unknown and the camera speed um, well it's it's pretty slow but let's keep it at moderate. All the basic settings actually look okay so we're going to just uh, click on the start button and then um, once it's finished I'll be back. Alright so it's done tracking. I did change my settings in Fayan. I set my tracking quality at the maximum I could get um, because it did give me some, some small errors so uh, just go for a high detail tracking. So what I will do now is go to the act footage and I will create a new composition first, uh, make this full HD. Rename that to act footage, uh, 29 seconds is okay. So let's just click okay. I'll drag in my act footage right here and then I'll just drag it till the end of my composition and hold shift so it actually snaps like so. Then I'll go to the beginning where I'm actually standing still just like in a picture and then I'll click on my layer, go to edit, split layer and then on the first part, on that small part, I'm going to right click time freeze frame. Then we can actually enlarge in this until we have the complete timeline filled in. And this is just going to be like the start of our animation where I'm st standing still like in a picture. Then in the main comp we'll have to see 
and look at the aspect ratio and try to guess it. Uh, so as you can see, it's uh, it's like a rectangle. So um, the height is going to be larger than the width. So uh, we'll have to change that into our other composition. Uh, so try to to think of the kind of aspect ratio you're going for. Go back to that composition. Go to composition settings and. We'll go, we're going to keep our height at 1080, um, but for the width, let's change that to 750. And that should be fine. You can still change it later on. If I'm also going to scale while well, select both of my layers, press S on the keyboard, scale it up a little bit and reposition it so it actually looks like a decent composed picture. Um, but yeah, i change my resolution to full so I can actually see the actual quality. Um, and then go back to the main comp and we're going to go to your Fay and control center that we just docked, click on your track, that's actually your track that you have been making with Fay and right click and insert a, well add insert and we're actually going to select our composition that we just made and click no and then you should have your footage in here so um, it's already tracked you don't have to do anything else except for compositing so it actually looks like it's uh, this picture <laughs> because currently it doesn't really look like it belongs there. I'm going to affect color correction and add a tritone. Pick the highlights of the picture, midtones of the picture, and also the shadows. I think it's right here. And then we're going to check it on again to see if it fits. But as you can see, it's really flat. So you'll have to open up the colors again and just change them up a little bit uh, manually. Um, but you already have the look and feel or the mood of the color. So the midtones are actually the biggest problem here. We'll have to brighten these up. And now we're going to have more contrast like so. So this already looks a lot better. Um, so what we'll do now is actually um, open up that footage go to our project manager and select our Grinch texture that we found on Google and apply well drag it into your composition. I'm going to scale it down a little bit like so and then we can change our blending mode to multiply. Now we have some kind of Grinch on the sides of the picture and it's already going to make it look older. So if we go back to our main comp you will see that the edges are still very harsh. So go to effects and presets and search for rough and edges. Apply it to your layer and now you are going to uh, increase your border so we have a nice and thick border and lower down the edge sharpness all the way till zero. Uh, so now we're going to get a softer edge. Now we can also play with the scale a little bit if you want to. So um, maybe a little bit smaller. Don't, don't exaggerate in this. And then for the complexity change this to 10. So we have all the complexity we, we could have. And if you're going to toggle this on and off, you're already going to see that your image uh, fits a lot better. So that looks pretty cool. You can also go back into the act footage and just drag the frame a little bit more towards the bottom uh, so the top right is covered more in black. I just personally think that looks a little bit better. And there we go. And now let's take a look on color grading. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and then I'm going to ellipse tool double click on the ellipse tool, go to effect color correction curves and drag down the curves in the center here and subtract our mask and then open up that mask and feather it out so we have a nice vignette. And as you can see that's going to really draw the attention towards the center. Our frame is more in focus now so I like that. Uh, let's actually close this down and rename it uh, vignette so we do that with return key and then new and add a new adjustment layer and here we're going to apply uh, some uh, perfect glow. Perfect glow if you don't know what it is um, you can download that for free it's a preset uh, on our website at the freebies page and that uh, will get, give you some really nice glow effects but first go to project manager and click on on here and change it to 32 bits per channel that's going to give you more color and as you can see immediately um, you're going to get better results so um, yeah we can change our radius a little bit, just increase it a little bit and decrease our intensity. And there we go. It looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to search for apply color lit and add that to our layer. 
I'm going to pick 300 and open that up. Um, these are our lists that you can actually buy on our website. I will put a link in the description if you're interested. I'm actually going to cut it away here and add a new adjustment layer and paste that effect on there. So we can actually press T on the keyboard and lower the opacity for that adjustment layer because I think the, the color grading was a little bit too harsh. But yeah, there we go. So that looks really cool. I'm also going to apply a color correction tint and uh, yeah, just put it on top of your color lid and decrease the value. So we have a, a little bit less saturation that's going to give you a nice mysterious look uh, so I think this looks pretty good actually go back to our uh, glow and just set it at like uh, 0.07 I, I think the glow was a little bit too intense and yeah that's it for this tutorial it's actually really easy to do as you can see and yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a like and if you aren't already be sure to subscribe to our channel and apart from that I'll see you in the next one goodbye